man. So I'm reading all these comments on my commentary part of the YouTube page. And I'm looking at all these people going at me about the whole Malcolm X rhetorical question that I asked. When I asked in particular, would he be canceled? Oh, you're being disrespectful. How am I being disrespectful just by asking a question? I didn't say anything bad about Malcolm X. I didn't say anything derogatory about Malcolm X. As a matter of fact, you can check the video that I posted right there. And it shows me that a lot of y'all niggas, y'all dropped out of the seventh grade and y'all lack basic comprehension. Because nowhere in my video and nowhere even when I asked a rhetorical question did I say that I was bashing Malcolm X. The reason why I asked that question was because I'm looking at how we treat our leaders. We treat our OGs. We treat our revolutionaries today and I'm starting to wonder since Malcolm X was promoting manhood will he be canceled in today's culture my feelings is yes cuz see one thing I learned about life is that you're appreciated more than you're dead than you are alive a lot of these same people that Malcolm was trying to say would well, they turn their back on and I'm looking at it too like with cancel culture, just him promoting manhood, just promote man, he he have been labeled everything toxic masculinity, a male chauvinist, just by that imagery that I displayed when it showed him with the chalkboard showing how man should be provider, man should be leader, women should be following man, and God should be the head of the household. You don't imagine a backlash he would have caught for that today. They would have dug at his background. They would have talked about him being a pimp, a hustler, a con artist. He's a false messiah that's going to lead the black people into into uh, total damnation. Oh, and don't get me started about the voting. Don't get me started there. All those ideologies that he was preaching, they would have been shunned today. Man, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King's artists would be fighting like cats and dogs on Twitter. And you know this. So... My advice would be is this, to all y'all cats over there, because I'm, I'm convinced that a lot of people, I'm reading these comments, and I'm like, yo, y'all love negativity, man. Even when I posted up the anniversary of Jay-Z and Nas squashing that beef, you find people trying to find something negative to say about that. I'm like, dude, so basically a nigga could just cure cancer, and you'll find ways to bash him. Y'all really toxic, man. That made me, That makes me wonder, man, like, what is wrong with our people, man? Like, anything that we post positive, people always got something slick to say or something positive to say. Like, just don't say nothing for that all. Why you got to say something? Why you got to derail something? Sometimes your opinion just not wanted. Like, Jay-Z and Nas squashing the beef was a beautiful thing for hip-hop. And people find a way to say something bad about that. I don't understand it, man. It's like, yo, this pandemic got y'all wild, man. It's like y'all bathing the negativity. Y'all love clapbacks and sipping the tea and all that garbage. Why can y'all appreciate something positive for a change, man? Like, y'all need to grow up, man. Y'all need to grow up. You know what I'm saying? Since y'all quarantined or since y'all locked down, take up some take up some studies on how to form an opinion, how to debate. How to pretty much comprehend. Because the way I'm looking at y'all and this dialogue y'all giving me on these YouTube channels. Y'all got a way to go. So with that being said, I'm done with that. Be sure to check me out Friday night. I got my man OC from the DITC in the building. And I got Black Poet from the Screwball Collect. We about to debut Screwball Radio on your head this Saturday night. On Halloween night. Who <laughs>